Well, there are three main concerns. There's teachers' pay. Since 2010, teachers have faced a, a cut in pay in real terms of 20%, the highest of any public sector worker. And if you take into account mortgages, uh, energy payments, childcare, um, the cost of transport to school, teachers are left with very little in their pay packet at the end of the month. And then there's also the issue of funding. Uh, school principals and bursars are a, performing a juggling act for the last decade of trying to keep schools running. There are more pupils in the classroom, there are fewer teachers to teach them, the staff rooms are getting emptier and what must be remembered by the government is that our working conditions are the, teacher, are the children's learning conditions. So when we suffer, they suffer, our welfare is their welfare. And, and then finally, the, the recruitment and retention of young teachers. Uh, after they pay their rent, because they're not getting a mortgage, after they pay their rent, after they commute to work, there's very little left and the chances of promotion at the minute are very, very slim. So really three things, teachers pay, funding, or the defunding rather, of education and the recruitment and retention of young teachers. The education system is on its knees and the budgetary announcement by Chris Heaton Harris in November was a slap in the face for teachers, for principals, for parents, for pupils who we all worked hard collectively during the pandemic to keep the education system running and it's, it's literally unsustainable. This is, a, this is a, a plea for help today. Teachers have taken strike action which is unprecedented. You know it's very rare for teachers to actually take this action. We're out, yes, to uh, secure a better pay deal for teachers. Teachers' pay has been eroded by over 20% over the last 10 years. But we're also out to secure a better service for our children and young people. Um, school budgets have been cut increasingly over the last few years, and it's got to the stage where it's unsustainable. I mean, teachers are seeing increasing numbers of children with uh, SEM, special educational needs, increasing numbers of children with emotional well-being needs, and they're, they're struggling to meet the needs of these children and support their communities. We, we need to highlight the plight of our children. We are doing this for our young people and for the future of our young people. We can see the real need is out there, you know, and it's time the teachers as you know, speak out about this and it's time that our voice was heard. We need to get back to the table. We need a real sustainable pay offer that we need reinvestment, not deinvestment in education, and we need it now.